Hi guys, welcome to Casey Lifestyle. This is the Perth Museum. I'm explaining today in English because the viewers are um know most of them English. Uh so the thing is there's a uh, this is a story of seven sister. This is the gallery of seven sister um uh, which were running from a evil guy who wanted to marry one of the sister. So this is the equipment they were used the aboriginal people um who are basically belongs to Australia. Australia is basically the land of aboriginal people so these are seven sister aboriginal uh, people story um these ladies were running uh, bef- uh running from the guy evil guy actually uh he wanted to marry one of the sister and uh, they don't want to do that so they just running uh, everywhere from to say protect uh their sister from them So here you can see um these sisters um yeah they created themselves like this like the generation the future generation the bridge of future generation they created them like a symbol like this is a story they telling about it so this is this is the in the corner that's the evil guy looking at the seven sisters so rest of the paintings here uh which is created by the aboriginal people which is really you know a very special craft they have done if you look at very carefully um the craft they have done like the artwork they have done is very very precious and it's hard to do it so they have very you know creative active uh, they are very creative people and the art is famous in all over the world so these artwork will go around the world uh, this is going uh, i think russia or somewhere for another 10 years so this is the equipment they using on that time um to like you know, hunt the animal to eat them to live live on the earth so um these are the basic things yeah these are the dancing as well like how the dance used to dance right now the culture is you know finishing up but uh, they want to live in the through the artwork and they want to create a story for them so like for so, so the future generation can remember them Don't forget guys this museum they have like rebuilt it they broke uh, like they have still keep the little bit part of the old museum but it's all almost renovated already so they have spent estimated i'm just telling you the estimate value which is in, in my knowledge maybe it's more than that maybe less than that a little bit but it is like 395 billion dollars which is like huge money uh if you like you can convert in your own currency like a huge money i can't tell you how much it is because the dollars keep changing and there you can see um the old beach here how they used to create by for themselves and yeah this is pretty much the art center hub you can see uh people used to like how they created their artwork this is just telling you the story about it so you should work like it if you live in perth or australia anywhere if you can like make it you should visit this place and this is a reflection um and the other artwork we came through so um this is like old stuff i don't know much about it but it was there there's a story behind everything here so this is the stuff uh, which is might be 100 to 1000 years even old guys don't forget to subscribe my channel because yeah i have created so much stuff for you different stuff uh, i thought you not going to get bored by watching just one same series all the time so yeah just a little bit extra information i'm always like to provide you know uh there is a you know sewing machine as well if you can see uh the is is everything is old there like 1100 years i'm not sure like how old it is but it is like very precious stuff they keep always and museum is like we know we know that everywhere in museum you will find the old stuff which is like we created uh for memory for our future generations so they can know about how we we used to live in before and now the how huge difference so yeah this pretty much about is in the museum just have a look maybe yeah i'll explain whatever i know so i can't tell you much about it because you have to read it for it especially
there i want to tell you this is a blue whale fish skeleton wow this is you know so precious and you can see the design like you know how they created so let's go to changes now so the changes in the world like you know how how we used to live and now and the nature is also changed a lot so this is they kept you know um some of the sand from the moon even they got some rocks and, uh, and etc like a lot of stuff they got i am not able to explain it sorry so yeah you can keep looking Don't skip this video guys this is like worth to watch this video truly speaking this is worth to watch it's really expensive you know how much effort how much money these people put it in it is worth to watch just must read it place i believe and don't forget to subscribe my channel if you are want to watch these type of videos don't forget to subscribe please i request it This is pretty much about like how they used to uh, do the hunting of the fishes uh, in the past. They are, these are the equipment they used to use. And yeah, this is pretty much about the hunting stuff for the fishes. Um, yeah, actually they they use their own equ uh, equipment to hunt the fish or um, do, uh, sorry, do the fishing and hunt the animals. So they, they use these kind of products before. And if you read it here, an Indian Oceans, or I don't know what is that actually. Um, but yeah, this stuff from Indian Ocean, they find it. So th this is pretty much everything. So this is a, they want to show a map here to shaping the future, how the water comes and how we use it, how it's going to be used in the future. They just make a little digital map if you see in the wall. let's visit to land water sky origins so this is pretty much about you know moon and i was talking about before you know the moon stuff and uh, the other planet they used to you know search um, our um, special scientist 
so there's a lot of stuff they can exactly tell you what was there before in the world and what's now happening and the climate how they're changing it's everything explained here if you are a scientific person you will understand quickly i'm i'm not actually so i don't understand much but this is very 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 nice place to visit i think this is a science people will love it Let's move to connections now. So yeah, there is pretty much you know underwater stuff, um, the animals which is live under the water. So like fishes, crabs. Yeah, pretty much is everything about like water stuff and the old stuff, how the boats were on that time, and what what else they found it in under the water. So just they keep collecting it and make a make a impact for the future generation. So this is the elephant egg in the in the left hand side. So this is old stuff. Um, if you wanna keep looking at it, it says the history about everything. They wanna tell you about like this is the first war uh, the uniform the people used to wear the uh, officers. Um, there's a, you will find all the stuff about the first world war and the second world war. So this stuff will continue. The uh, rifle they used to uh, use on that time, the uniform they used to wear. This is everything about the all information about the first world war and second world, world war. Yeah. They want to tell you a quick story. This is a 28 kg weight. So Aboriginal prisoners, they used to wear these chains in their feet and they have to pick that weight. This is how they used to work. This is where the prisoners, how they, you know, get the punishment in the old times, which is cruel.
now i'll tell you about this black costume here this is like a ship of pride something like that yeah they yeah they came in the ship to get married uh, in the western side of people so now this is the 44 days in the sea um the people who uh, the western Sri Lankan people they spent 44 days in the sea first time so this is their stuff they had used first time in the sea how did they survive with the stuff and the bottle how many bottles they used to drink water so this is a survival of 44 days In the corner, this is lining, lining uh, uh, the uniform. That was the prisoner uniform on that. let's move to wildlife now so yeah this is the wildlife stuff you will see dinosaur too don't forget to watch full video because you're gonna watch dinosaur this is a swan little swan they put the stuffing in like this is already you know dead one but they still have some living animals as well yeah don't forget to watch full video Hey go, this is the dinosaur. Actually, it's not an actual dinosaur, but they have created it like a 
it used to be in the dinosaur before maybe it's just uh, you know imagination how they created it it's very beautiful and you will find yourself very small instead when you're gonna stand next to it because when i saw it i like pretty much scared when i saw it first time yeah it's very huge So Western Australia is known as the veins of gold as well because in the land, um, in the mining area, uh, they got a lot of gold under the under the land, you know. Uh, so this is uh, like a gold you can see actual in the in the stone itself. Uh, how they Western Australia are getting rich, you know. This is a just a small example how they get the gold from the mining. So mining is very famous. I hope you liked this video. Please subscribe KC Lifestyle and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.